Putin's losses mount with nine commanders among 12,000 killed as Kremlin official calls invasion a cluster. Nine of Vladimir Putin's military commanders have now been killed in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. They are among the 12,000 Russian troops Ukraine now claims it has killed, as one Kremlin official has reportedly described the campaign to subdue its neighbor as a cluster. General Andrei Sukhovetsky was killed by a sniper credit, east to west. Vitaly Gerasimov has become the latest senior Russian commander to be killed. Lieutenant Colonel Denis Sklobov died in the battle for Chahu of credit, Twitter. The latest senior commander to die is Major General Vitaly Gerasimov, who was killed in fighting outside Ukraine's second city Kharkiv. Gerasimov was awarded a medal for capturing the disputed province of Crimea in 2014 and also received medals after leading troops in Syria and in the Second Chechen War. Three other top commanders have were killed in recent fighting in Ukraine. Safronov and Glubov were killed when Ukrainian forces have recaptured the city of Chahuiv, while Zizevsky was killed in the south of Ukraine. Their deaths come after those of other senior Russian commanders, including two other generals. Major General Andrei Sukhovetsky was killed by a Ukrainian sniper during the fighting for Hostomel airfield about 30 miles outside the capital Kyiv. And General Magam Tushayev died when his Chechen Special Forces column, including 56 tanks, was obliterated near Hostomel, northeast of the city. The Chechen soldiers are known as hunters and each of them was reportedly given a pack of cards with senior Ukrainian officials that Moscow once dead. Also among the Russian dead is warlord Vladimir Zhanga who led the Sparta Battalion, a neo-Nazi military unit that has the Kremlin's backing. Two other unnamed Russian senior commanders have also been killed in the fighting. Kremlin officials have allegedly made apocalyptic predictions about the conflict in Ukraine, describing the invasion on February 24 as a mistake. After the latest Russian setback, Ukrainian Colonel Lieutenant General Serhii Shaptala said his troops had seized Chahuiv killing large numbers of Putin's men. In the course of hostilities, the city of Chahuiv was liberated, the general staff said on Facebook. Lieutenant Colonel Dmitry Safronov also lost his life the fighting for Chahuiv credit, Twitter. Commander Konstantin Zizevsky died in Ukraine credit, Twitter. Vladimir Zhanga led the Sparta Battalion, a neo-Nazi military unit that has the Kremlin's backing. An abandoned Russian tank with the Ukrainian flag credit, Twitter. Chahuiv, a small city of 30,000 people 22 miles southeast of Ukraine's second city Kharkiv, was one of the first taken by the Russians. A week ago, a young boy was killed in the city after heavy shelling struck an apartment block. As the slaughter continues Ukraine claims that Russia has lost 12,000 troops and more than 2,000 army vehicles, although US intelligence says the number of the dead is around 4,500. A Kremlin spokesman called for Ukraine to cease military action, change its constitution to become a neutral country, acknowledge Crimea as Russian territory and recognize the separatist republics of Luhansk and Donetsk. Dmitry Peskov told Reuters that Russia had told Ukraine it was ready to halt its military action in a moment if Kyiv met its conditions. And he insisted Russia wasn't seeking any further territorial claims in Ukraine. Last month, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky dismissed Russia's territorial claims in an address to his people ahead of the invasion on February 24. The city has seen heavy bombardment in the past two weeks credit, Olomy.